Hey, it's eWiller31 again, and today I'm going to be doing something different. Normally I'm doing a buildcraft slash um, equipment exchange tutorial or a server video, but today I'm going to be showing you a world edit tutorial. If you're not familiar with mod, it comes with single player commands. It's also a plug-in on craft bucket, so you can do this on online servers if you're an operator or higher, but just for a demonstration, I am going to show you how you can do it on single player. And today we're going to be making an arch that looks a little bit like this. This is one of the most popular things that people like to make uh, with World Edit. And it's pretty easy to make. Today is going to be just a really fast version. It's not quite, uh, quite going to look as nice as this one. But um, I hope you guys enjoy and it's a pretty easy tutorial. Don't expect that your first time will be great because it just takes a little while. Alright, so first we're going to find an area. Let's see. Um, right here looks like a nice place. So first you're going to get your um, any type of tool. And uh, a tool is like not a placeable block. So um, you can't have like cobblestone or wood or fences or even like redstone or repeaters. It needs to be either a tool or a compass or a clock or something that um, that you can you won't be able to place. So what you're gonna type in first is br sphere five. Oh no, not five. Stone five. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and um, you're going to have to find a flat area and then we're going to just build it up and make a rough arch. Now something to n note is this will look horrible up until the last part of it so don't think that you're doing something wrong if it doesn't look um, that great at the first time you've done it. And you get better at it when you, once you've done it more. Again this is a pretty quick tutorial. Um, <coughs> so yeah. And go down here and join it to the ground. Alright, so now we have this rough aspect. And keep this one. And it, once you're done with this, uh, the tool, type slash N-O-N-E. But we won't need that now because we will be needing this tool later. Also, if you want to make a lake like I have in the one over there, then you're going to want to make a circle around it. And just a tip, if you... Um, if you mess up, slash slash undo, that undoes the last world edit thing you've done. And make sure it's slash slash, because in slashes, or something different, I'm not even sure if there's a slash. Undo command. And, um... But the, uh, the brush, the BR sphere, that's with, um, it can be either with two slashes or just one. Remember, don't, uh, you won't care about how it looks now. Just uh, wait until the end, and it will be much better, trust me. This is a pretty easy world edit tutorial compared to some, um, and it's pretty um, it's pretty straightforward to get a very good aspect. Depending on how large your um, arch is, you're going to probably want to measure, but if you have a good amount of RAM and you know your computer can take some, just go over to the very middle top if of your... Um, arch and type slash uh, it would be a good idea to fly up a little bit slash slash sill gravel 20 20 is a good amount because it's not too much but if you want to be safe do something like 15 I'm gonna actually go like with 25 as you can see it will lag your game but this isn't a crashing kind of edit it'll be a couple thousand blocks and remember don't stress about how it looks until all the way at the end this will look like crap at right now. So as you can see we have a covered arch with a lot of gravel and remember this isn't the end. So the next thing you want to do is take another tool slash BR smooth and I'd go with 2-2 for now that's a pretty small amount and remember you always have to work with small amounts because with bigger amounts you can really mess up your arch. And it would be a better idea to do this before you cover it in gravel. 
But again, this is just a tutorial, and this will be quicker, so I just decided to do it like this. <coughs> Alright, we have it a little bit better. It still looks horrible, so we're going to fix the horrible at right now, sort of. So now you're going to, uh, with another tool, I think we've already used that one, slash br sphere grass 5. That's the first thing you're going to type, but uh, you're not there yet. Now, slash mask gravel. What this will do is it will change all the gravel into grass, and you're just going to drag your tool with right-clicking all the way along the top. And as you can say, it's look, it's taking shape. I think the best, where this looks the best, is um, in a mountain or plains biome, because um, that type of grass is very good for arch making, but it would also look good in any other biome. I, I don't think a desert grass would be great, but you can always uh, choose anything you want. Alright. So make sure that all the gravel has been changed to uh, grass. And even the stuff in the middle, you, you don't really have to do the stuff in the middle, but it, it will help when you start making your lake if you're going to make one. Um, another good thing about the gravel is make sure you're on the top, because um, it's not a good thing to have um, too many excess blocks under the um, arch, but you really don't have to worry about that. So now you have to take another one, another tool, and we're going to go BR Spear Air 5. You don't need to mask anything this time, but rem remember to be careful and use your slash slash undo command. Now you're going to be carving out a little lake. It can be pretty small or deep or whatever you want to make it. It's just going to be in this little area. You don't have to make this, but I think it makes the arch look a lot better, especially because this is a rough element. Don't remember, uh, don't worry about what's in your arch right now. We'll be fixing that later. Alright, so now you're going to want to find the absolute lowest part of this upping, uh, up area. And I'd say, for me, that's about right here. <coughs> you're going to, this, uh, this might lag your game a little bit, and it, it might be bad at the first time, but you can always undo. So slash slash fill water, we'll just go with 30 for now. That was a little bit low, so we're going to slash out slash undo. Slash slash fill water 37. That should be better. So make sure all your water is still. And there you go, pretty much. Um, you might want to smooth out your edges um, so it looks better. But remember, the smooth tool can mess stuff up, so remember to undo right when you see a mess up. Again, this isn't the best arch I've ever made, and it probably won't be yours too, especially if you're doing it for the first time. Um, another thing I like to do is make some trees on it. I think red wood would be fitting. Um, so slash slash br tree redwood. Oh yeah, tr just um tree redwood. So are you gonna? Know, what I like to do is I like to put more trees at the bottom, and um because that makes it look like there's like a um with the less amount of oxygen, the less trees grow. But you, uh, it looks really good when you um, do some trees going up. Uh, you don't really have to do redwood. You can do the normal type of trees. I don't think birch would look great, but you can experiment. Um, and remember, if a tree doesn't look that great, you can always undo it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, a subscription would be a very nice. Uh, just a rate, a comment. Favorite the video. Show your friends. Anything would uh, mean a lot to me right now because I'm pretty much just starting out and the most uh, amount of views I have are from my server. So thanks for watching and I hope you can, if you want to, just send me a world save of your arch and I'd love to see what you've done. Thanks, bye. Hey again, I just, uh, at the end of the video, I just ended it a little bit too quick. 
And here's a little optional thing um, that you can do to make it look like the water is eroding of the stone. So you're going to take a uh, tool and you're going to say BR Sphere Sandstone. Remember, not sand. That would fall sandstone. Now you're going to mask the, the, um, the stone. You'll just do this around here. You don't have to do it for the whole thing. And I just think this looks really nice. You don't really have to do this. This is just optional. But um, just around the lake, um, it's a great element to have in your world edit. And I just think it looks really nice. So that's the end. Thanks again for watching. Bye.